Dear President Zelensky, dear Volodymyr, dear colleagues, the illegal annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation remains a very serious violation of that system of rules and principles universally recognized by the UN Charter that guarantee peaceful coexistence between nations. It is a violation of the territorial integrity of a sovereign nation which tramples the rights of people who do not want to give up their identities and remain so even 10 years later. Considering Crimea as a part of Russian territory is a piece of the Russian propaganda that we need to know how to counter, despite the fact that it finds support in some geographical maps circulated even in Western media. Since the start of the Russian invasion, Crimea has also become a base for Russia's deliberate attacks against civilians and critical infrastructures. But Russia has not been able to break Ukraine's heroic resistance and our cohesiveness and unity for purpose have secured Ukraine the aid it needs in order to defend its own freedom. This is a value which we must uh, cherish if we want peace to be restored in the heart of Europe. Dear Volodymyr, we will continue to stand by your side. Italy will do so also as G7 presidency because our goal is to put an end to this war and help Ukraine along it, its path towards a future grounded on peace, freedom, and prosperity. Looking to Ukraine's future also means thinking about its reconstruction, which must be supported in concert with international financial institutions. We intend to do our part, and in 2025, we will host the Ukraine Recovery Conference in Italy. Unity is our strength and the Ukrainian people can continue to count on us. Thank you.